Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a spawner, like an automatic spawner. Now, this uh, spawner, I, j I actually got requested on Skype. Someone wanted this, uh, wanted help on making this, so I was like, why not make a tutorial? So, here's the tutorial. So, she had said that it was going to be like, like in mini games, how they have, I'm guessing it's that heal. They have like a, a heal on certain mini games and the rock spawn down and it kind of like hits you so it, it's gonna be something like that I mean or you could just make it I mean they're used for like tycoons to spawn certain things you know from the dropper it's just an automatic spawner I mean you can figure out what you want to do with it but I'm just gonna be teaching you how to script how that's uh, scripted so I'm just going to all right, so we're gonna insert. Let's see, how can we do this? I mean, there's a few ways, but um, okay. So let's do this. So we're just gonna have one part. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make something that's going to spawn. Actually, let's. I'm gonna make this a just a square box. So you can make it a square box. We're gonna turn anchored on. And I'm going to leave it showing just so I know, like, it's coming from the middle of this part. Alright, so, inside of this part, we're going, we're going to, actually, um, what can we insert? I mean, like, what can we make spawn? I'm going to look for some mesh. A mesh. How about if we spawn a Dominus? Okay, that's really big. I'm gonna shrink that down. All right, so I'm gonna be putting this Dominus inside of this part, and make sure whatever your whatever is gonna be spawned, you wanna make sure anchored is false, of course, because you want it to fall down. I'm gonna make this zero. Let's put it inside. So we're gonna be putting this inside, and then name, um just name the model so mine's gonna be dom dominus forget the eye dominus so that's what's gonna be dropping so i'm going to take this dominus i'm gonna right click cut and pasted it oh my gosh i can't paste it wow i can't believe i said that i'm gonna paste it inside replicated storage dominus okay now we're going to go in server script service right click insert object a script now okay this might look a little confusing with all these other scripts. That's from all my other tutorials. Um, now we're going to name this dropping or drop handler. Yeah, drop handler. Okay, so first off, let's access our part. So, actually, let's access replicated storage first. To access it, we're going to make a variable. So, in front of our variable, we're going to put local. So local uh, replicated storage equals game. So what is game? Well, game holds all of this, all these services. Um, that's what game holds. Just kind of like how workspace holds from here to here, all of this. Well, game holds all of this. So game, so we're going to go in game, and then we're not going to go in workspace, so we're not going to do like game.workspace, we're going to do game.replicated storage, replicated storage is the service right here, okay, so we got replicated storage, now we're going to access the Dominus, so local Dominus equals replicated, replicated storage, wait for child, so instead of doing replicated storage dot Dominus, we're going to do replicated storage, wait for child, just in case the Dominus has not been loaded in yet. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, that's just going to wait for the Dominus to be loaded in. Because if we just do replicated storage that Dominus, if it, once the script runs and Dominus is not there, it's going to error. And then it won't run the main code at the bottom for the dropping. Okay. So, to make a comment. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make a comment. You put double dashes, and then you can, you know, that's a comment. But to make my neat, I like to put these forward slashes, and then we're going to just do variables, just to make it look nice, you know. 
and then handler. So handler is just going to be the main part, or we could just name it main. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now we're going to have the dropping. So if we were to do dominus dot parent equals you know workspace or you could just do game dot workspace game, saying game dot workspace like game dot workspace is the same as just saying workspace so I, I always use workspace okay but make sure it's a lowercase w of course so you don't want to parent the dominus into workspace and then set the C frame of the dominus to this little part you don't want to do that you actually want to clone because if we parent it, it's going to take this dominus and parent it, you know, inside this part or wherever we want to parent it. We actually want to clone it so we could so it could be duplicated like more so it could actually keep dropping. Because we want to make more than one dominus, you know. So so you're going to take your dominus, which is what you're dropping, and then actually we need to make a variable for this. So local new. So just put new in front of uh the item that's being dropped so like I'm using dominus so do new dominus and then equals and we're going to take the original and we're going to clone it then we're going to take new dominus dot parent equals so we're going to do workspace dot okay now we need to find our part that's going to be dropping at so it's going to be dropping at this part so you're gonna want to do um, let's name it dropper part. So dropper part. Oh, forgot the R. Dropper part. Okay. So we're gonna go over here, and instead of doing workspace dot dropper part, let's make a variable. Local dropper part equals workspace, and we're gonna use wait for child again, just in case it has not been loaded in yet. Dropper part. Then we're gonna do dropper part here. And then we're gonna do new dominus dot c frame. So instead of doing new new dominus dot position, which position is a property of a, a part or a mesh part, um, we're gonna use c frame, which holds the rotation also. So um, now, if you're thinking, y you might be confused because if you're wanting, maybe if you're wanting to make like some type of tycoon, um, and then uh, yeah, making a tycoon, you're gonna have to access this part differently, of course. Or if you're doing like that mini games, you're gonna have to actually access the part. Like if you were doing that heel, and everyone spawns at the bottom of the heel, and then you have all them parts just falling, like them rocks or something, and then you're trying to get to the top. Those, <clears throat> you're gonna like, you're gonna have to access the part differently, also. Um, it's just little L. Okay. Um so yeah. So you're gonna have to like go inside the map that gets picked and run the code. Like access the part in, in that map. Yep. So hopefully you don't struggle with that. I mean it's not too hard to be honest. <clears throat> okay, drop handler. Alright, so we're gonna set the C frame of the new dominus to equal to this dot C frame. <clears throat> uh, to the droppers part C frame. <clears throat> okay. Um, now we're gonna want this in a loop because we want it to like spawn automatically. So, while wait do. Okay. This is almost the same as saying instead of saying while wait do, you could do while true do, but if you don't if you don't have a wait in this code like inside the scope. Like if you don't have wait, if you don't have this, it's going to crash your game because it's running too fast. So you have to have a wait. So you could either do it that way or, you know, you could do while wait do and then take this out. Or you could do while wait one do. So it's going to like run this, wait one, run this, wait one. Yeah. So I'm going to do it this way. Um, but what I'm going to do is instead of waiting one second what if you wanna make it wait maybe either one 
or five seconds are between there. So it could do either, it could wait one second, it could wait three seconds, it could wait five seconds, somewhere in that range. To do that, inside of wait, you do math.random. Also, I'm going to be putting this code. I might forget to put the code in the, the description. But if I did forget, because I'm telling you guys now, this code will be in the description. If I forget, just let me know and I'll put it in there. So while wait, okay. And then one to five seconds. So just like this, one comma five. It's gonna wait one to five seconds. So either in that range. Okay. And let's give it a test. Now I'm gonna run this and see what happens. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the transparency to 0.5. I'm going to change can collide false on the the dropping part, the part that uh, drops. Uh, yeah. All right. Yep. It's working good. Yep, that's basically it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Later.